Who on earth would have expected that we could be saying this 12 months ago? But it looks like Sadio Mane is leaving Bayern Munich and heading to the now famous Saudi Arabian League, the Saudi Pro. It was not meant to end like this for the 31-year-old. He arrived in Munich with high hopes, but injuries, subpar performances and a few misunderstandings have characterized his brief stint in the Germany capital. The Senegal international, though, saw this coming. He knew his time at Bayern was over when coach Thomas Tuchel, in a recent interview, hinted that the winger come striker was not in his plans for next season. He fell short of expectations. The competitive situation is extremely high. The starting position is not easy for him. The player knows that too. He knows my opinion and the opinion of the club. Is it that Mane wants to leave the club or Bayern simply do not want anything to do with him anymore? It all depends on how you look at it. It's clear Thomas Tuchel does not want Mane in his team. Simple. He feels the winger does not fit into his system. The German manager's treatment of the Mane during Bayern's dramatic Bundesliga win on the last day of last season spoke volumes. On that day, Mane did not even get a minute on the pitch, despite the team chasing a goal in the dying minutes of the game that could have given them the title. Instead, Tuchel chose to throw in the teenage duo of Jamal Muziala and Matisse Tell as Mane watched from the bench helplessly. At that point, the writing was on the wall for Mane. Muziala grabbed the winner, though, four minutes later, further vindicating Tuchel's decision. But Mane had hoped he could get a second chance to make things right. A few months ago, together with his agency, he made it clear to Bayern that he had no intentions of leaving and that he would love a second chance to at least try to make it work. But Bayern seemed to have made up their mind, with Mane's poor performances being a continuous joking matter at the club. In fact, many jokingly said the club signed Mane's twin brother and not the same player that featured for Liverpool. When Bayern paid almost $34 million for his services in July last year, it seemed like the steal of the summer. After all, Mane was the reigning African Player of the Year. He had led his side to the Africa Cup of Nations win, won the Premier League Champions League, and in his prime, he ticked all boxes, and his move to the German champions made sense in every sense of the word. So, why exactly is Bayern Munich pushing Mane through the exit door? One of the obvious reasons why Bayern pushed to sell the Africa Cup of Nations winner is the much-covered altercation with Leroy Sané following Bayern's 3-0 defeat by Manchester City in the Champions League. Things got a little heated between the two teammates in the dressing room, with Mane reportedly punching Sané, having initially been angered by how he spoke to him on the pitch. This left a bruised lip for the German international, and Mane faced disciplinary action. He was first suspended from Bayern's clash against Hoffenheim before he was hit with a 260,000 pound fine for his behavior, the highest fine ever in the club's history. Well, that's almost nothing for a player who took home 17 million pounds in a year, but even before all that, before the altercation with Sané, Mane had struggled to settle in at Bayern. When the German giants agreed to sign the Senegalese, there was a general feeling that he was coming to replace the departed Robert Lewandowski. To fill the Polish striker's shoes was always going to be a daunting task for Mane, but Bayern took up his services with his stats for Liverpool in mind, where he scored more than 120 goals and 48 assists during his six seasons at Anfield. The early signs were promising. After perfectly slotting into Julian Nagelsmann's starting 11, he had five goals from the opening six games. The fans were happy. They wouldn't miss Lua's goals after all. They celebrated too early. Mane's goals dried up rather quick, and he particularly faced plenty of criticism following a poor display in Bayern's 2-0 Champions League group stage win over Barcelona. He was withdrawn after 70 minutes after failing to muster a single shot on target. Things seemed to be crumbling. He could not replicate the form he enjoyed at Liverpool, and roughly five months into his time at Bayern, he had become a shadow of the player who dazzled the Premier League. The Senegalese also reportedly became a disruptive influence in the dressing room. He was infamously involved in a heated row with Nagelsmann after Bayern's win over PSG in the second leg of their Champions League tie, complaining of being restricted to a substitute role. He hasn't been lucky, though. The winger hobbled off through injury in Bayern's 6-1 win over Werder Bremen in November and was forced to undergo surgery to fix his right fibula. The injury seemed to have been the start of his troubles. He first missed the World Cup and stayed out for three months. Upon returning in February, he struggled and eventually failed to get back up to speed. Could it also be that he never fitted into Bayern's team? At Liverpool, he flourished playing on the left wing cutting in, even though he at times played through the middle. 
At Bayern, though, he was frequently shifted between different positions without finding his rhythm. His age could also be a key factor. At 31, he might be slightly past his prime, and with age comes the proneness to injury, and Mane is no exception. For instance, he managed just 11 appearances in the league since his return from the lengthy layoff in February and scored just once. With Mane among the highest-paid stars at the Alliance Arena, the club could feel they are not getting value for money, and striking off the huge wages from their books could help them target younger players. Speaking of new targets, Bayern are said to be keen on bringing in a new striker, and that is one of the reasons they have Mane on the club's chopping board. Herbert Hayner, a member of the club's board, confirmed recently that they struggled without a number 9 last season, and no doubt they will be pushing to recruit one. It was obvious we didn't have a number 9 who would change things up front. You can assume that we'll strengthen our squad to be able to compete in the league and Champions League. Tottenham's Harry Kane tops the list of their top targets, which also includes Inter Milan's Lotoro Martinez and Frankfurt's hotshot Colo Muani. However way you look at it, there was no way back for Mane in this. His time in Munich has sadly come to an end. It's strange that he has fallen from grace in such a short period and is slowly disappearing into the football oblivion. But perhaps a new start lies somewhere, and that is the Saudi Pro League. It might not be as prestigious as Europe's leagues, but the profile is slowly growing. We'll get even bigger. He has already given Al Nasser the green light to negotiate with Bayern, and a deal could be completed soon. Well, this means he will play alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and the likes of Marcelo Brozovic and Alex Telles, formerly of Manchester United. Can Mane rediscover the form that placed him at the top of the world a few seasons ago? Only time will tell. Let us know what you think in the comments below.